Hi everyone, it's Diane. Welcome. Thanks for joining me for some paper crafting fun. And welcome to new subscribers. I'm getting new people. I'm so excited. Thanks. And welcome back to everybody who's been around with me for a while. So paper crafting fun on a Friday. I think today I wanted to make <clears throat> some treat boxes. You know, school's starting and the holidays are coming and we're going to need some treats. And so I'm using pretty pillow box dies by Stampin' Up. I have a bunch of them already cut. So um, I might need to die cut some, some little decorative tabs and stuff if we want to do that. But again, I wanted to share a couple things, you know, look in your... Look in your supplies and your stash and see what you have. Maybe you have something that you don't realize you can make treat boxes with. So I have a few things that I've done in the past. I've done this little, this was the window box thin lit dies. That one would have been cute to put like um, little sachets or potpourris or something in. Whoops, sorry, I'm going to probably bump the table a hundred times because they're all behind me. These were, oh, I didn't pull these out, out, the dies. These were my little Halloween haunted houses that I made the one year, and I did these for our Bunko group. I've, I've glued mine down, but the original ones lifted up, and then I had a tea light candle in them, so they would shine. I have, um, do I have vellum behind these ones? On theirs, I had put vellum so that the candle would shine through the lighted windows. But these would be great to put a little treat inside and have the door open up to get them out. And this, I can't remember what this was called. Um, I don't remember. I have this one that I did, Dress to Impress. This was a little, I did these for a group of my friends when we went to a fundraiser. <clears throat> it was actually a um, designer purse bingo, so I made everybody a designer purse. And since then, I've used this die and made little Santa Claus treat boxes. I was going to show you the die for that one. Oh, I can pull it out. Oops. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Oh, there it is. So this is the die for that. That was the Dress to Impress dies. So we could do those out of any um, autumn papers or color card stock. Because I am making autumn treats. I thought it would be nice this year maybe to have some of these ready for a couple of my neighbors are a little bit elderly. And I thought maybe it'd be nice to give them a little treat this year, you know, over the holidays. So those were a couple more of them. Then, of course, there's the mini Kirby keepsake. And I forgot to pull that one out. These I also did with a little tea light in them, and um, I had these for our dinner club girls, and they have little lights, so we could light them and set them up at the airplay settings. Oh, my dog's just going crazy. Oh, she keeps seeing her squirrels, and she just keeps barking. So let's see. Yeah, so that was my little... Kirby, mini Kirby keepsakes. Can you see the little lights? Cute, huh? And then the one that, I don't know if I used this one or not. I don't know if I used that. Petite treat. Petite treats framelits. I'm thinking I used, I might have tried one just to see how it went together, but I don't think that I actually made treat boxes with them. 
I'm gonna have to leave that one out and play, give it a play, huh? And the pillow box ones, I have not made my own. I have used pillow box treat boxes before, but I haven't made them. So that was the one reason I got this. Also because it has, um, let's see, that's the pillow box. It also has a little label tag. We can fold this in half and put it on the um, top of the box or just use it as a little message label to add. This had a lot of fun. It has um, the little scalloped edges here that we can cut out of coordinating paper or maybe some metallic paper. And then, what else? Did, oh. When we, oh, and the pillow treat boxes are still available. Yes, they're available in the 2022-2023 Stampin' Up! catalog right there. You can still get those dies. They don't show a whole lot with them, though. This one just has some stamped images on the, on the little envelope fold part. And then with the Rustic Harvest suite, when I got that, this set, when I got that suite, if you remember, if you were watching back then, we got a little packet of leaf labels and amber gemstones. And I had tried to gold leaf some of them and I wasn't really being happy with how that turned out. That one's not too bad, really. It's okay. This one, I don't know, it's a little splotchy. -er. But anyways, I pulled those out so that I could use those with our pillow box treats. And I embossed them. I heat embossed them. And I saved one out here so that we can do one together. I'll have to mute this when we go to heat it because my my heat tool is very loud. So this one I did with um, Stampin' Up! Copper. I did one with, this is my all-time favorite color. This is Brutus. Am I doing this backwards? Is that the copper? Nope. That's the copper. And this is Brutus Monroe Golden Gourd. I love this color. And then this one I just recently got from them. This is uh, Magical Magenta. But it will look kind of pretty for um, autumn. A little bit of a, a purpley berry color. So I'm going to set these aside and we'll heat emboss one just so you can see how I did that. I also pulled out some of my trinkets that I had left over. I have some pine cones and I pulled out the bird ballad trinkets because they have these little little leafy things. I thought that might work. And little bows, um, hearts. I had some heart charms. So maybe you could use that. Or acorns. All of those would work for autumnal treat boxes. I think we might stamp a little on some of these. I have my Hello Harvest set here so that we can maybe stamp a pumpkin or a little sunflower or something. We'll see where we go. And I did cut one out in black. I would do one for Halloween, even though we're not going to do Halloween um, card making or anything today. We might want to do one Halloween treat box. So like I said, I went ahead and I die cut the pillow boxes out along with a label, one of the bigger labels, and a tag in each of the coordinating colors, so those are ready. And I thought we would heat emboss this one in gunmetal. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, I did five pillow boxes. That's okay, they don't all have to have a leaf on them. So what I did was, I could just do two of them, huh? Since I have the pillow box 
already cut out, or I could use that gold leaf one. Maybe I'll do that. Is it that one? No, I like this one. Yeah, maybe we'll use that one on one. All right. And see, the hardest part about doing this heat embossing, because this is the simplest heat embossing project that you probably would ever want to do. Hardest part was holding the leaf still while I put the embossing powder on it. So I just used my pokey tool and put it in because they're already um, punched with a hole in them. And I used my Versamark ink pad, which remember is just a clear sticky ink and made sure that I try not to poke a hole in my ink pad. Cover the whole leaf. And then I didn't dump my embossing powder on that one. I used a clean sheet of paper. Added embossing powder over the top. Lay it back on my original sheet of paper while I put my embossing powder away before I spill it. And then I will mute you while we heat this leaf up and watch the embossing powder melt. And I'm not sure what color this turns into. This was, um, boy, I don't even know. Cosmic Shimmer Embossing Powder, Gunmetal Luster, Creative Expressions, I guess, no, Creative Express, yeah, Creative Expressions, so we'll see how that one turns out. Some of these things come just in um, kits or whatever that I get, and then I don't always remember where they come from. Okay, I'm going to mute this for a minute here while we heat this. Pretty quick, huh? Pretty quick. See how it turned all shiny? And then you just double check and make sure if you see any parts on your little cutout that aren't shiny, they're not heated yet. They're not melted, I should say. So you need to heat that up a little bit more. Maybe we'll use that on the Halloween one, huh? I also pulled out... Um, those up. Had some little chipboard accents from Echo Park. These ones are all Halloween. I do have some autumn ones, but I thought I might use that on my Halloween box. So let's see what we're going to do. I think maybe if I use this one, I think the pumpkin will be too large on the treat box, but I could make a pumpkin. I could stamp one and add it with my leaf. That would be very pretty. Very, very pretty indeed. So that die takes a half of a sheet of an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock, 
Oh, you know what? Do I see? Oh, no, it's just the way it melted. I thought I saw some still unmelted parts on there. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so it takes a half a sheet of cardstock. So the same as if you were making a card. Oh, I didn't have that on there very good. And I'm going to stamp my pumpkin with pumpkin pie on pumpkin pie. Because my treat box is out of pumpkin pie. <laughs> Just in case you didn't guess. Yes, I do have other colors of ink. I never know what we're going to need. I didn't pull them all out. All right. How about... Well, if I want to add a little label, it's going to have to be a very small greeting. Oh, yeah, what? Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Look, there's a cute little thinking of you right there. Endlessly grateful. I wonder if that would fit on here. That'd be great for autumn. So how's everybody doing? Hope you're all well. You're doing good. This is Thursday evening for me. So that I can get this uploaded for Friday. And Oh, tomorrow is our anniversary, so that big day, well, it's not as big, next year will be bigger, this one is 39, yeah. okay. and unfortunately, hubby has to work out of town tomorrow, so if he gets back in time, we might get to go to dinner, I don't know. I think this will fit on here. Cute, right? So, let me get the coordinating die, and we'll cut our pumpkin out. Well, I guess I should stamp my, my little message on there. Maybe I don't want to do it in pumpkin. going to do it in. Ooh. My marker just flew out at me. I think I'm going to do this one in early espresso. I need a little scrap to try this on because I'm not sure I've used this reading yet. little scrappy papers. I know I have some. Ooh, nice. Very, very clean and simple. Pretty. Oh, I'm going to go off the camera if I Try to actually see what I'm doing, huh? If I sit down, I'll see better. Possibly. Say a prayer, because I can't really tell where it's at. Not bad. Okay, I'm good with that. Keep that one. Since it fits on our little, our little greeting tag there, just perfect. Oh, the dies. I was gonna say, what was I looking for? My catalog back under here, out of the way, so I can reach my die. And then we'll put one together. See how it looks. I did bring over some 
different twines and ribbons. We could wrap a little bow around it. And a reminder, if you're local and you're interested in joining our card making workshops, our next one will be September, I'm going to guess it's the 26th, sorry, I'm trying to line my die up, I moved it. Pull my note out here and make sure. I think it's the 26th. September 27th, September 27th. So if you are interested in joining us, we'll make three cards. You can just email me at diane at bohostamper.com. Here, I'll set this up here while I set my die aside and grab back my little treat box. And we'd love to have you Okay, so everything on here is already scored for you. It has a nice little area that kind of guides you where you could stamp your image and get it right in the middle. And I'm pretty sure we can, um, we could go even a little further and maybe cut that center out and add acetate. And if you wanted to make a see-through one, we'll work on that, not, not tonight. <laughs> not with this one. I'm just going to gently bend in, bend in, because I can clock my curved sides. Make sure I have my little flap folded over. And now we can also add any designer series paper to this, to liven it up a little bit, any um, pattern papers that you have. <clears throat> Sorry, you know, you know these allergies, right? They don't quit, ever. Come on, come on, don't be, don't be giving me a difficult time now that we've actually started filming. Good, and there we go, there we go. So I'm going to add a little bit of liquid glue just to make sure each side is folded nice. I thought these would be kind of cute to do this for, you know, Thanksgiving or something and maybe put some little, um, I don't know, they come out with cute little things for Thanksgiving to Rolos or Werther's or something like that and put them in there because we do have some good neighbors. There we go. I don't think this is as hard to put together as how I'm doing it, but I'm just trying to keep my hands out of the way too so you can see what I'm doing. Almost got that right off the edge. That's not going to be good because that'll stay sticky. Come on. Why is that not going back easy for me? Thank you. You heard me whining. Okay. This side. Maybe I should have used tear tape, huh? 
That probably would have been a better idea. Or if you're having like Thanksgiving dinner, you could make one of these for each place setting. Maybe put their names on the front. My hands now that glue's sticky. The only thing about Tombow glue, it just stays sticky. That's good sometimes, but not every time. And my hands are wet. Okay. So let's use, I brought over some, had a piece of this shimmery copper ribbon. I thought this might work with the raspberry one, I don't know. I think that's berry burst paper. And I brought the little black and white gingham for the black one. Um, some brown. I didn't bring orange and I didn't bring, oh, because I thought I had crumb cake over here. Well, we can use the brown. Yeah, because I have this. And how about that my teeny hole punch it is good I'm trying to decide if I want to put this on the front I know I'm going to use that, and I'm using um, the acorns. There we go. Acorn. And I'm going to add just a little hole on the center. Scallop. I think we'll add this to here. Maybe we'll put the pumpkin. No, it's too big for that, huh? Too big, too big, too big. Get some dimensionals. We'll add the greeting to the front. Those little, um, these would be handy too to just stick on the inside if you wanted to add a note so that, you know, like you could leave them on your neighbor's door, something, hang them on there and leave that little note tucked inside, you know from you so they knew where it came from then I'm just gonna use some of my twine this twine um, I got this one off of Amazon I do have um, a lot of stampin up twine and stuff but I wanted some different colors while I was doing some of my journals and so I had to go hunting a little bit. I did that backwards. I should have put the silly, silly girl. And you know what? Probably should try this one time and then put my leaf on it. I think if you got the hang of what you were doing knew what design you wanted to make because I really don't know what designs I'm doing. See like right there, that's not gonna be nice. I don't like that. I'll have to put it down the center behind my label. Um, anyways, if you knew what how you wanted to decorate them, you could probably mass make a bunch of these. So there we go.
Again, it wouldn't have to be quite as hard as I'm making it appear. No. What fun would that be? If my fingers will cooperate and do what they're supposed to do and tie a little tie, we can add our little maple leaf. And I know that acorns really don't come from a maple tree, but you know, it's just all in fun. Pine cones don't either, but that's all I have, so <laughs> we have to work with what we have. Right. That's the name of the game. Work with what you got. Tuck a little bow. And we'll have one little treat box. Yay! Simple, but it works. All right, and we set that one. See if we can do. Let's do the Halloween one. We use this ribbon. Let me grab my tear tape. <clears throat> I think that'll work a little easier. And then maybe I can use one of those, um, those little chipboard, I don't mean chipboard elements that I have. Just so we can see how quickly we'd be able to get through doing a few of these, huh? I tape my fingers together. Blue dots would work as well. I did just get some blue dots too. Boy, that stuff's tough. Some good tape. Come on. I don't want you to hold down there until I have you together. When it sticks, it's going to stick. I really am making this difficult, aren't I? There we go. It's some tough stuff. And there she goes again. Good grief. She likes to make noise. There we are. See, it isn't too hard that time. Maybe my fingers are just starting to get the idea of what they're supposed to be doing tonight. These are cute. These are by Echo Park. I was going to say, where's the name? There it is, Echo Park. Oh, that's a cute little tag right there. It says boo. And I have a little tag shape cut from the die set. So you can add that to it. Again, use the stuff you have. You know, don't think you got to run out and... Buy more. Let's 
kind of being my thing right now. Oh, this is a sticker one. I don't know if I trust it to stick stick. I might glue it on my label or on my little tag. using my fine tip glue. I actually worked on my one journal that I've been just trying so hard to get done. I just don't know how to find a time. I don't. I just don't know. Aww. Just do. Pretty easy. Self-explanatory, boo. Okay, now on this one. I just tie a little bow. And add my tag. Squished it. There we go. Pop it back out. What do you do? You know what? Oh, I'll tie it on after. If I use these, I have to tie it on later because these will take a minute to dry. These are Pearlized Enamel Effects Basics, and this is black. I also have red and white, and I've used the black ones a couple times. I like them. So these are just like little pearl drops. And then when they dry, they look just like little pearls. The other day, Friday, when we did our Halloween card, I used these and made my the beak on my owl. I used it on my owl. See, it turned like a little silver right there, but it, it just gives it some dimension, some cutesy. Okay, I'll set that one aside and then just tie it on here. That would be super simple. These would be good, good to make for Halloween treats for the school kids because there's like not anything scary on them. Um, they're pretty quick and easy once you learn how to make the pillow box. And um, everybody's kind of, there's nothing specific to boys or girls or anything. They're pretty, oh, I twisted my ribbon. I'll fix that one. They're pretty neutral, so you could give them to anybody. Nothing too spooky or scary. Nobody would get mad at you, right? Oh, let's see if I can do this one faster. Hmm? Let me think. I'd like to stamp something along the edge of the, oops, along the edge of the flap. Do I still have my brown out? I think I do. Oh, turkey shoot. I hear all the guns starting. Oh, these are pretty. Out of Hello Harvest, I have used these little swirls. Let's do that. I 
don't want to go on too long here. It's already been 40 minutes. What the heck? How did I do that? Time flies when you're having fun. For me, I love making cards. Do you guys give treats out for Halloween, or do you, um, do you maybe do something special for Thanksgiving? Let's see if this is going to go on here, this away down here. I guess I want this. Sorry, I'm pulling this forward so I can stamp it hopefully straight. My ink pad. And I don't know. Shall we try glue dots this time? And I think this is going to go this way. This, I want this in the heart. We live... Um, We live on a dead end, so when it comes time for a trick or treat, we really, well, last year we did get quite a few. I shouldn't say that. I was going to say we really don't get that many, but last year we did get a little bit more. I'm not really sure why. I, I think there are a little more, there are some more little kids in the neighborhood than there had been for a long time, so, you know. And I think, too, that last year with, um, the pandemic and everything and a lot of the neighborhoods planned their trick-or-treats all to be the same time so everybody was pretty much sticking around in their own neighborhood and that might be why we got a little bit more I don't know that I'd take the time to make these for all of the kids I did used to try to have extra special little things for, well, for my nieces and nephews when they were still smaller, or, oh, stuck to me, or for the kids across the street that I would see, you know, on more than just Halloween. I did try to make little treat bags or little containers special for them. And when I was still working, I did always have treats for my staff. I had a couple of departments, so I did always have something special for them. And now that I'm retired, I don't have all that to do anymore. Let's use this one with, ooh, what? That one or that one? This is the, um, this is the gunmetal one. But I'm going to use it with the copper ribbon. Try not to twist the ribbon this time. Maybe I should put the leaf on the other side, huh? Since I did stamping, that would probably make more sense. Silly girl. Silly girl. I don't really want to cover it up. See what I mean about maybe planning a uh, design ahead of time? Oh, you know what we could do? I don't have 
that was cut out of this right colored paper. Could have just done this and um, punched holes in them and made the little twine wrap around it. Oh, no, I don't want to cover. Look, I'm going to cover it up. I don't want to cover it up because it's pretty. Maybe I'll just use the brown thread again, brown twine. It's not quite as wide as the copper is. And then just tie that on there. Yeah, that'll work too. And we don't have to cover up the leaf. I don't want to go to all that fun of embossing it and then cover it up. Right? Right. So we'll just tie it on the back side of the box. Trim the tails real short. Or really, I could have just used dimensionals and put on there. That probably would have worked better because that's going to make it curl. Yeah, let's try that. Can you tell that I didn't do any of these before we started tonight? It was just another one of those things where I knew what I wanted to try to make. I don't know if that's always a good thing. I guess I should probably work more at trying to have one ready ahead of time so that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, what fun would that be, though? Come on, get off of there. Thank you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. There. That'll work. I mean, I would prefer it didn't have the little hole in there, but it does. Oh, and you know what? We have some little rhinestones that came in that packet as well. And I just threw my other pillow box die cuts all over the floor. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. All over. Be all right, yeah. I think I may need to twist more putty out there. Um, yeah, except I think I have to think of something that's not sugary because, like, our older neighbor up the road, I don't know if he can have sweets. That would be bad if I took him something and he wasn't allowed to have sugar, huh? Let's better think of something else to put in there. Well, that's cute. I'll take it. What do you think? You could do a bunch of stuff with this. Sorry, see what would a day be? I'd be in there. Um, I'd like to try a couple more of these and do some some of the little flap decorations with some design paper. Oh no, I touched my pearl. Darn it. Tap that back down. See? Should have left it sit there. Make it worse. I'll make it worse. Hopefully I'll dry all right and not look too weird. And then I'll add that onto my little bow. I don't know. I think I could come up with some ideas now that I know how to put the boxes together. Yeah. 
All right, guys, go take out some of your little treat boxes and start getting them ready because those school kids are going to be wanting some stuff pretty soon. You can uh, jump on that right now and not wait until the last minute. So thanks for playing around with some paper stuff with me today. And um, my hole punch just fell back out. Um, we'll come back on Monday and do some more. I think I'll probably work on that one a little bit more ahead of time and have a prototype ready. <laughs> that probably would be the better thing to do than trying to wing it while we're on the, on the clock, right? So we'll see you guys Monday. Have a lovely weekend. Thanks for being with me. Bye.